Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Reading Ideas. I, I hope I've got a, a, a good video for you today. So, you know, it's a bit of politics. So Biden is out and Kamala is in. So it's going to be Kamala v Trump. Uh, I'm over in the UK, so I don't get a say. But American politics affects, affects uh, the world at some point, usually. Uh, and you know I've got my I've got my views. People will have their their views. Some people stronger than stronger stronger than other people. Uh, the the way that I look at it is it should be a surprise if any particular party completely matches your views on on everything. What tends to happen is that some people get very committed to a political party. Then the political party kind of lets them down, and you know people kind of drop out, get a bit get a bit frustrated. <clears throat> now the thing, like I say, people are entitled to their views, but what's the bit that I don't like about uh, American politics is uh, an assumption that uh, you know the Democrats are so saintly, sweet, and innocent. And the, you know, the Republicans are the, you know, evil, evil and nasty. I think it's ridiculous to say that Trump's a Nazi and that, you know, the Democrats are out saving democracy. I think it's, I think that's just way to an extreme a view, is my opinion. So this, you know, you can look at it from either side as a neutral. So I'm just going to put a little bit of a list together so if someone can put up an opposite list then i'll be very very pleased with that so this this is my effort to try and so for you know if as a republican you can look at this list or if if you're a democrat but i'm trying to i'm trying to get people into a following mindset if you're going to vote democrat you know that it's, I think it is far healthier, mentally healthier a position to say that, you know, the Democrats are not all sweet and innocent, and but that you prefer the policies. I think if you go down the route of, well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Democrat. I'm, that makes me a wonderful person. All I have to say is I'm a Democrat and that's it. I'm in, a, I'm in at parties because I'm one of the good guys. I think that is, fa and you know, and, th and those Republicans. I don't have any friends who are Republicans. They're evil, evil, horrible Nazis, racist, evil, horrible Nazis, despicable people. I think that is a terrible, terrible viewpoint, and you can disagree, but I'm going to try and prove you wrong. So I'm going to put a little bit of a list uh, to try and show that it's. I think it's a far healthier position to look at the Democrats as a bit of a cabal. Uh, people are prepared to try any trick in the book to get into power and that if you are happy with that and that you believe the policies then great but I think it's a slippery slope if you think no they are saints in everything that they do here comes the list so uh, number one uh, demonizing Trump as a racist at the start was it's a completely disgraceful thing to do. It's just, it is, it's just a disgrace. You can put up your uh, evidence uh, against that if you so wish, but calling, you know, shouting, shouting that out is, yeah, it's a disgraceful thing to do. And uh, number two, uh, demonizing Trump as a fascist. You know, he would do mass deportations, put gays in concentration camps, and um, yeah, all, 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 all that that you know he's, he's gonna he's gonna create concentration camps he really is he's not gonna let me speak on my booktube channel because i'm for the other side oh that was utterly deplorable scaremongering by the democrats and by the media that backed him up uh three didn't the fbi falsify a pfizer warrant to spy on the trump campaign and that this was kind of started a little bit by Obama, Clinton, 
you know, with Biden kind of in the background. Is that true? I, I think they did, didn't they? Is that true? Uh, four, though the FBI agents, you know, Peter Strzok and Lisa Page, uh, supposedly independent, saying how they, you know, they hated Trump, wanted him, wanted rid of him. You know, you can have your own personal views, but they were, they had a bit of an influential position, didn't they? And what was all, what was all that about? Oh, don't worry, if he gets in, we've got the insurance policy. What what was that all about? And yeah, what was that all about? Uh, so yeah, Ooh, sounds a bit dodgy. Uh, five. Uh, didn't the media lie that Trump had removed the Martin Luther King bust from the Oval Office? Didn't that get a lot of headlines? Is that is that all forgotten now? I can't. I don't know. It's always a bit muddy. The waters, isn't it? Six, you know, that Russia hoax, you know, Trump was a Russian spy, a Russian asset. Uh, you know, that went on for years. It was, you know, investigated by the FBI, distracting Trump from getting on with his work, frightening the American public. Now, is that is that an insurrection? You know, trying to trying to remove a uh, duly elected president, you know, so, you know, didn't you know, didn't Hillary Clinton pay for that didn't she pay to have that done wasn't that a hoax on the american people that kind of disappeared didn't it you know rachel maddow ran with that for years what happened to the russia hoax so did you believe it that you know if you're a democrat supporter if you believe the russian hoax do you still believe the russia hoax is trump a russia spy you know ooh, you know the thing with liars is that it's not someone says that's a liar liars lie that's how you can tell a liar that's how you can tell a liar they lie so what was that russia hoax all about was it a hoax is he still a russian spy uh seven can you remember the doctor's uh, petition we've got to remove trump we've watched him on telly you know oh yeah he's he's a bit he's a you know he's not quite there you know what was what was the medical claim was he was he, what was it again? Was he psychopathic? Was he, um, you know, a bit slow? I think that, that was it, wasn't it? Didn't they do that? Now, I wonder what could have given them the idea. You know, wonder what could have given them the idea, put the thought in their mind. So what happened to that doctor's position, permission, petition? We've got to get rid of Trump, yeah? Bring in that amendment to get rid of somebody who's unfit for office. Uh, that kind of disappeared, didn't it? Because he took a intelligence test, a mental cognitive test, and didn't he get thirty out of thirty? And there was a bit of a hoo ha in the press. Oh, it's lying. He's rubbish. He's not very clever. Ooh, I'm clever. He's not. Wasn't it all a bit like that? But then it was kind of like, oh, well, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to move on. We're gonna have to move on. We couldn't get him with that one. So yeah, he took a. Imagine I'm got taking an intelligence test just to shut up the media and the Democrats banging on about that. Uh, number eight, the hostile work environment created by the Democrats and the Democrat supporting media for uh, the um, what's it called for the uh, press secretaries in the White Office in the White House. They came out to try and answer questions and they were going mad. They were going hysterical. They were so rude, so aggressive and nasty. Never listened to anything, interrupted. It was a disgusting, hostile work environment. And Kayleigh McEnany was magnificent. Absolutely magnificent. Yeah, it was it so, you know, some somebody, you know, I know she's on Fox, but some big business or some political party should snap her up. She was amazing. Yeah, all those um reporters yeah right all those activists pretending to be reporters jim acosta all those trying to make a name for themselves absolutely humiliating themselves on a daily basis what's happened to that what's happened to that hostile work environment not very nice but you can get away with it if you call people fascists and nazis can't you and tell people that if you 
believe it that they're the clever and that they're the nice ones so question nine the first impeachment the quid pro quo deal with ukraine so trump tries to find out tries to find out whether or not biden had influence had made uh, you know political pressure in ukraine so he tries to find out whether he did or not and we'll come back to that with a hunter biden laptop later so can't don't let a crisis go to waste swoop in democrats did let's impeach him he was trying to get rid of a political opponent what happened to that first impeachment that kind of died off didn't it didn't it did he did lucky trump get away with it or was it an overreach what happened what what exactly happened there yeah what happened there so that first impeachment what happened to that 10 claim that trump would create a nuclear war with korea he was an idiot remember that all that rocket boy oh trump needs to keep his nose out you know obama and clinton and all these people don't you talk to kim jong-un he's you know he's a dictator you're a dictator you're just trying to be pals you know he's sending rockets over to japan he's a threat what you're going to start a war Trump goes across, they get on. There's no more rockets being fired across at Japan because they're scared of him and he's pocketed him into a corner. Apparently, they were going to try for, um, you know, to try and move things on diplomatic with them, open it up a little bit. But he was distracted with all the shenanigans back at home with all the Democrats' dirty tricks is one way to look at it of course you may disagree in a free society Uh, 11 the babies in cages hoax so remember that trump keeps babies in cages people across those poor people crossing illegally across the border dragging kids with them you know who may or may not be theirs and they're separated they're separated and put in cages not remember that you know, all the absolute screaming, babies in cages, babies in cages. Uh, what What's happened? What happened? What's happened to all that? Not remember AOC going down there and there was no babies in cages. So she cried at a parking lot fence, looking into an empty parking lot, you know, for a bit of a photo op. Uh, you know, it was, you know, the, it was like, well, hang on a minute. This was started by Obama. When you arrest people, you have to separate them from the children that they're with. They might not belong belong with them. They might be trafficking with them. Anybody who's arrested is separated from the children because they've been arrested. No, it was babies in cages. And then when Biden gets in, it's kind of... I mean, are those cages still there? Are they? I don't know. Are they cages? Were they cages? You know, did they get bread and water? What happened to all that? Oh, it was a nightmare, wasn't it? Those poor babies in cages. Yeah. All right. 12, the Charlottesville hoax. So this was a, this was quite a big one. Uh, you know, protesters taking down statues uh, in the south. And it was all, you know, all a bit nasty. And it was all encouraged because... Of course, Trump's a Nazi, Trump's a fascist, so riots are okay. You go do your rioting thing and that's fine. Tear down statues. So people came out to protest. There were some very bad people there, some racist people there, uh, but lots of other people who were not, who were just trying to protect, you know, their their, their local history, um, you know, to try and counter-protest. Uh, there was uh, some... A lot of, you know, I think some, you know, somebody with a car ran people over and was arrested and, and what have you. And Trump was asked to disavow the protesters. And he, Trump was asked to disavow the white nationalists, which he did. And then he said, do you, do you, um, do you disavow them all? And he said, well, no, I can't. There was good people on both sides. And they, that, oh, we've got him now. We've got him now. He's supporting the white supremacists. No, I didn't support the white supremacists. He was asked 30 times to disavow. He did. And the media just lied. 
repeatedly saying Trump supports white nationalists, which he didn't, and lied repeatedly to say that uh, he didn't disavow it. This went on for a long time. It still occasionally crops up, but this was a hoax and a lie. He did not support them, and the media lied. Absolute lied. Okay, you can disagree, but bring your facts with you, please. And the BLM riots. Uh, these were supported by the Democrats to make the Trump organisation look bad. Not remember all that, get in their faces, defund the police. It's the summer of love, mostly peaceful riots. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, don't, yeah. You know, uh, Kamala Harris running funds to get people out of jail uh, that went on to commit further crimes. You know, that those riots were good. Those riots were good good guys. They definitely were. Trump's a baddie, so it's totally fine to uh, to loot, to pillage, and all the rest of it. Okay, so uh, the idea that violence is bad, no, as long as you support the Democrats. Okay, uh, same with the Antifa riots, all to make um, Trump organisation look bad. It's quite funny because but the riots aren't funny. Uh, but the, just the language that is used is incredible. So Antifa doesn't exist. So Antifa doesn't exist. Okay, it doesn't exist. So who's that rioting on the streets then? Well, that's the anti-fascists because they are anti-fascists. So, you know, you can punch somebody as much as you like if you call yourself an anti-fascist because you're anti-fascist. Yeah, and it's against Trump. It makes Trump look bad. So, hey, ho, away you go. Yeah, uh, brilliant. They just don't exist. Uh, yes, Democrats again, raising funds to get people out, including Kamala Harris. Um, yeah, so the good riots. Oh, yes. So here we go again. So public violence is only depends. The idea of public violence is not bad as long as you support the Democrats. So, remember the Me Too case against Brett Kavanaugh. Oh my God, have you ever seen anything like it? Just the, 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 oh, believe all women, believe all women. It's 30 odd, well, how many years ago was it? Um, I felt a bit unsafe and they were drinking and then, what what's going on here? Believe all women. He's uh what was he called a rapist or did the media not go that far? It was bedlam, absolute bedlam. Get him, get him! Oh my God, some woman has accused him. Who we found and no oh oh you know let's let's look at her closely. Look at her face. Look at her face. Look at oh she's telling the truth. She's telling the truth. That's it. You know, then the the scenes of, you know, people banging on the doors to get in and crying and wailing. Oh, my goodness gracious me. So, no, that 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 long held view of innocent until proven guilty out the window because he is a Republican. Can't No, we can't have a Republican going on the Supreme Court. No way. We're the good guys. We're the good guys. You can't have one of the baddies on there. I know what... We're, now we're saying... Now we're saying to suspend innocent until proven guilty because they're the bad guys. They're the bad guys. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, that will be a repeated process. So oh, there's a bit of a list going on here, isn't there? So where, what number were we up to? So that's 15, the Kavanaugh uh, silliness. Uh, 16, Trump's a warmonger. Trump is a warmonger. Oh, he's going to cause wars. You know, it, you know, there was all that Kim Jong-un, Rocket Boy business. Yeah, all that. Uh, now, I know there were wars under Obama and there was no wars under Trump. And I know that there were no war, that, that, that there were wars under Biden, you know, Ukraine and Israel. But Trump causes wars. 
Okay, so I know there's no there's wars under Obama and Biden and none under Trump, but Trump causes wars. He is a warmonger. He's in the pocket of, you know, the military industrial complex and he's going to create wars because he's a dictator. All that. Yeah. So it's surprising what that evidence shows you. No wars means wars. Definitely. Because we say it is, so it's true. Okay. Uh, what... What next? So we got the warmonger hoax. The second impeachment. What was the second impeachment? That he instigated an insurrection. He instigated and it was an insurrection. Definite insurrection. So, yeah, I know he said to peacefully protest, but it was an insurrection. He said peacefully protest, but he sent out, he sent out, what's the word? What did they call it? Oh, when you dog whistle, he sent the dog whistle out. He blew a dog whistle. You go in peach, boys. You go in peach. Uh, yeah, you know, there was no guns. There's no plan. Yeah, but no, there was an insurrection. Yeah, there was riots, definitely. People were where they shouldn't. Nastiness. I'll come back to this. But an insurrection, really? Yeah, those words, eh? Those words. Right. Okay. Uh, during COVID, so calling him a racist for saying it came from China. So it's China virus. That's racist. It came from China. Yeah, but you, but you, you said it came from China. Yeah. So the China virus. You know that Spanish influenza. China virus. No, you can't say that because that's racist. Yeah, and. You're saying to stop people come from China. That's racist. You can't do that. Two minutes later, you can't leave your house because of COVID. No, nobody can move. You can't go on a beach. You can't do anything. But what about when you said that people from China, where COVID was, were coming here and we said not to. You said that that was racist. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We never said that. Right. Didn't, didn't. What about the jibby jabby? What do you mean? What about the jibby jabby? Well, didn't when it was coming out and it was warp speed by Trump, rightly or wrongly, let's get that vaccine. Some people agree with it. Some people don't. But that warp speed, we're getting the vaccine out. Weren't the Democrats at the start saying if this comes out, calling it the Trump injection, I'm not taking it. Didn't. Kamala Harris said that. Anything with Trump's name on, no chance am I taking that. Not a chance. It'll be bad for you. No way. Now, there is a slight possibility that the, you know, there was a slight possibility that the uh, delivery of the jab, was it delayed so that it came out under Biden rather than Trump? Was it? I don't know. You know, could it have been? Who knows? There's a bit of a bit of a rumor going around. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? But it came out just at the swap over, and then the back. The, the jab is wonderful. In fact, if you don't have it, you can't leave your house. You can't get a job, and we may even lock you up. Yeah. So no jab. You are a second class citizen, and it's a wonderful thing that us Democrats have done, isn't? Wasn't that right? Or am, I, or am I misinterpreting that? I could be wrong. So Trump vaccine bad. Biden vaccine. Oh, brilliant. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Just look at my face. It's wonderful. Yeah. Right. So where are we up? To, where we were up to? So that was that's 20. 21. Yeah. Uh, yes. Saying it was racist to stop flights from countries where there was a terrorist threat because they were, you know, mainly Islamic. Now, so, I mean, is that is that is that racist to stop flights from countries that you think that terrorists are coming on? So do you believe that that was just his idea? He got up one morning and went, you know what? I'm not liking the look of some of those countries because I'm a bit of a racist, so I'm just going to mess them about a bit and stop them coming in. Or do you reckon 
that the military, the Secret Service said, President Trump, there's a bit of an issue going on. We're a bit concerned about these countries and people coming in. Right, well, yeah, well, just turn. We think we think you should shut the flights for a bit. I'm happy with that. Don't want terrorists. I personally, I don't think he would have taken that decision himself. Well, he would have taken the decision himself, but surely that was under advisement. Surely that was under advisement. So is it right or wrong to try and stop terrorists coming into your country? You know, people who are more likely to want to kill you because you're different to them and then saying, no, you can't stop them coming in. Well, why not? Because they're different to us. I mean, how does it how does it work exactly? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure he would have done it under advice. But you can disagree. He woke up one morning, thought, I need to do a, you know, a bit of racism today. I need to, yeah, I need to splash a bit of that white supremacy about a bit. Perhaps it was that. Who knows? Right. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. So where are we? Where are we? Where are we? So, oh, right. Yes. Yeah. So back on the racism thing. So racism was a, a big thing under uh, Trump, wasn't it? Everything was racist. So everything was absolutely racist. So the Covington kids, they were racist, weren't they? That you were told point blank to your face these these kids these horrible catholic white boys they're absolutely disgustingly racist to uh, these poor minority people over here right let, let's let's just let's just have a little look at the full video hang on they're innocent these guys they're the other people are a bit rude oh my god that doesn't fit our agenda Move on, move on, quickly be quiet. So they lied about that. So they look for racism, found it where it wasn't there. Maybe it was maybe it was racism the other way around. Maybe they were going after the Catholic kids because they were white kids. Who knows? But it wasn't what you were told it was. So liars lie. Or oh, people with a worldview see a particular worldview, don't they? Uh, then there was the Kyle Rittenhouse case, wasn't it? So some terrible white boy with a rifle who shouldn't be there crossing state lines just killed three poor innocent black people who were just innocently protesting. Oh, hang on. No, the three people were... They were white. All right, so it's not racism then. No, it is. How? Well, because they were supporting... I don't know. So, yeah. It was, they still tried to push racism. These poor innocent people, right? Well, no, when we look at them, these people were not very nice. And goes to court and, you know, it turns out that uh, the jury said he was defending himself. So, you know, you can disagree with that, but it's difficult to see how the original story of racism that definitely didn't stand up away it went and another lying case was a lie uh, then of course there's loads of other stuff like that but then there was the Jussie Smollett small a case wasn't there oh that was that was up there wasn't it absolutely up there yeah you want racism I'll give you racism you can't beat this story. Oh, hang on. It is a story. A black guy being beaten up by two black guys that he's paid to beat him up. Uh, ooh, all those people who kind of rush to judgment. Uh, you know, the you know the uh, actors, actresses. Uh, I'm pretty sure I remember, you know, the Obamas making statements, Clintons. I could be. I could be completely wrong. I don't want to say an untruth, but I'm pretty sure that it was it's racism. There it is again. There it is again. Definite. You're questioning it. You are an evil racist. So liars lie and liars lie. So no racism there. Yeah, no racism there. Ooh, it's a bit more tri tricky to find than we thought, isn't it? 
Right, okay, so then we had the whole Trump is going to take over the media, he's going to ban people. That's because that, because he's a dictator. He's going to take control. But then we had all the you know the all the deplatforming was you know by Twitter, Facebook, YouTube was all by people on the right. Oh, they were banned, shadow banned, absolutely booted booted out of here. And but no, it's Trump's going to do that. But you're doing it. Yeah, but they're Nazis. They're racist Nazis. Oh, well, that's okay then. Job done. So, the people who, if fascists are the people who ban people from the public square, then there is no evidence for the right being fascists under that criteria, but there is a tick in that box for the left. Trump was banned off Twitter, shadow banned off Facebook main leader of that party what on earth no he's gonna do it he's gonna do it so we have to get him first we have to get him first really of course you do yeah so sorry there i was letting 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 it slip there wasn't i yeah oh no but he's a fascist so it's okay isn't it yeah absolutely okay right so 25 we're up to 25 that's gone quick hasn't it so 25 so Trump is going to use a secret service. He's going to use a secret service. You know, he's going to repress people. He really is. So 51 ex-secret service people sign a letter to say that the Hunter Biden laptop shows all the hallmarks. Get out of jail free card there, boys. Shows the hallmarks. Shows the hallmarks. So we can smear it. We're... Hang on. What if it doesn't turn out to be true? We've only said shown the hallmarks. We never said defo. We never said defo, no budging. Yeah. Pinky swear. I had, pinky swear. I had my fingers crossed. Can't get me. So 51 ex-secret service people say that the Hunter Biden laptop was Russia disinformation. Meanwhile, the secret service had had the laptop for months and knew it was real. Isn't that interference in an election? by the secret service because one it was true they knew it was true they had it for all that time but imagine you are reading that now it shouldn't wouldn't it kind of flash alarm bells how do 51 secret service x secret service whatever how do they get together so what do they all go to the pub on a Friday night? So they're all in a pub on a Friday night and it's like, hang on, this Hunter Biden laptop. Let's ring. Let's ring one of our buddies back at the FBI. This laptop. Oh, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I don't know nothing about that. What do you reckon? Russians again. Russians again. That, you know, that naughty Putin. So how how did they get together? How did they put that letter together? Come on. Yeah. I mean, surely that has to be the biggest red flag going in this whole thing. No, no, no. That Peter Strzok and all that, they weren't trying to get Trump. They weren't working with the Clintons and all these. No chance. But, well, maybe they were... But it's good because I'm a Democrat and that Trump is a naughty boy. And we have to, innocent until proven guilty. No, that's got to go. Yeah, riots. Yeah, that's fine. God, yeah. Once our people are in power, pshht, no. We'll crack down then. Crack down then. Right. <sighs> Dodgy. 26. So the Democrats supporting f Facebook paid $400, I might have read it as $500, to help get the vote out. You know, with that big mail-in vote. Well, it's just a question, you know, because it doesn't count towards election expenses, so it, not election interference. But, you know, what was that money spent on? What was it spent on? You know, elastic bands. What was that $400 million spent on? 
who knows i'd love to see the paper trail and all that but it's a good thing it's a good thing because the democrats are the nicest and the republicans well trump are the baddies so that's that's totally fine it's totally fine when he does that yeah now musk has come out and he's saying he's supporting trump and that's terrible take his money off him no i'm digressing so what was that what was that money spent on mm, wonder what they did 27 immediately after, is this true i, I think i've read this I, is this true is this true so immediately after the biden win multiple antifa organization sites were shut down on twitter so those useful antifa people who were going around burning stuff in those mostly peaceful riots now your job's done democrats are in shut up go home pack up your placards put your molotov cocktails away and free free speech not for you buddy boys that i think that happened i'm pretty sure that happened but if it didn't it didn't but i think that pretty much happened uh 28 uh ashley biden oh this is a bit not nice ashley biden daughter of joel the diary where she says you know you know there was those showers with you know with daddy and oh were they appropriate probably not you know the diary wasn't stolen it was left in a house it was found yes it was sold so what is it true is it not true families oh it's all can you imagine if one of trump's daughters if, if it was the same you know was that was that kind of treated equally it, you know believe all believe all women believe all women oh no but it's, it's all a misunderstanding it's all a misunderstanding complete misunderstanding and nothing to see here move on okay fine uh 29 tara tara reed me too accusation against joe biden you know she said that he was a bit of a naughty boy in one of these me too things where's that you know, was you know, all these Me Too's against people on the right. Oh my God, get the reporters round. Believe all women, get the story, front page news, week after week after week. Every time they show up, ask them about it, badger them, call them liars, call them guilty. This, no, it's cuddly. Joe Biden would never sniff a hair on a child's head, not a one. So there's nothing to see here. He's a cuddly, lovely old guy. How dare you? So we only believe, you know, we only believe women when they make particular accusations. Of course, because we're the good guys and they're the bad guys. All right, fair enough. Poor Tara Reid, whoever she is. Uh, prosecutors elected on a Trump platform. Right, so this guy has got away with it he's got away with it but he might be coming back oh my god so right what we'll do is we'll just announce to everybody that we're gonna we're gonna get him we're just gonna get him and prosecutors now in england the prosecutors are supposed to act you know without fear or favor and definitely not political now i don't know whether it's against the law in america or and it's just not pursued but to have prosecutors say if you elect me i will pursue mr trump i will go through all his records i will find something i will keep looking you elect me to that lovely wage i will subpoena him i'll tie him up you know i'll really pursue him i'll make life so difficult for him is that how you should run a prosecution service yeah is that isn't that well one isn't it illegal but two isn't that lawfare against a political opponent you know like you know what ye olde fascists all do isn't it isn't that a tick box for a fascist you lose you use the law prejudicially against your opponents yeah just go find something anything give me the person and i will find the crime isn't isn't that what they do anyway no well we kind of are but he's a nazi so it's okay remember nazi all right a bit of an excuse for all that isn't it 
Right, uh, so 31, all those civil and criminal cases brought by Democratic appointed judges in Democrat biased districts. Isn't that, is that not, something's got to be done about that, hasn't it? How can you have, how can you have that? Democrat appointed judges, openly biased, going to areas like, no, we're going to cart you off to New York. Yeah, we're going to cart you off to that district there that's 97% against you. That's tough. I mean, what on earth is that about? What on earth is that about? Well, they can see the truth, see. If we took him to where it was 97% in his favour, they can't see the truth. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Good luck with that. Because, uh, of course, but it'd be wrong to do the same against you guys, wouldn't it? Well, of course it would, because we're the good guys. So the thing itself is not wrong. It's just who you're going after. Who you're going after. Right, we're back to that again. So, 32. 32. The E. Jean Carroll case of sexual assault. Where Trump got fined $83 million for sexual assault and for... Uh, for saying that he didn't, that she was a bit nutty and he didn't sexually assault her. So uh, so she calls him a rapist and that's totally fine. You know, that's not disparaging his good name because, of course, he's a baddie. Uh, but he says she's a nut job. Well, you can't do that. That's terrible. You're a horrible person. Well, 80, here's $83 million. Now, this was the first case. This was the first case. This was the first lawfare case. So it was a kind of, you know, the Democrats were kind of trying to find out whether they could kind of get away with it. You know, no one's going to believe this. So we won't go to a criminal court. We'll go to a civil court. You know, they probably won't believe that rape conviction. So we'll kind of go for a bit of a watered downy one. Oh, my God, we got away with it. That's it. OK, boys, we're in. Let's go for it. So the Eugene Carroll case. So the basis of the case is that I think sometime during the 1980s, Donald Trump's leaving a store, a department store. She's coming in. He says, oh, I know you. Do you fancy coming shopping with me? And she goes, all right then. And they're wandering around this store on a floor where there's nobody there. There's changing rooms that are shut because they don't want people nicking stuff because it's expensive. One happens to be open. Um, he drags her in there. He's, you know, assaults her. And then off the off the trot now there's one extra little bit of information where that apparently she told that she told one friend and this friend remembers this case but then there's no other stuff i think they might have dragged other people in as well to say yes he's not a very nice person and might have whatever with me now so there's there's no evidence at all none no evidence but this was at the height of me too so believe all women now so that tara woman no but eugene carroll yes so we believe the accusation so it's a he said she said but we're going to go 100 percent with what she said we're going to give 83 million you know because of course democrats need to get in power and we've got to take donald trump's money off of him because you know he's a billionaire and he might do his own case you know that could be part of the reason so there's no evidence no evidence but we can convict him because it is donald trump and now you know we've done we have done surveys and it says if we get to call him a convicted rapist we didn't quite read it's a sexual assault but we can can we say it well the judge says we can still actually say it what you can say so you assault somebody, but the judge can, the judge says, no, you can go ahead and say rapist. Well, well, could be right. Can we get away with that? Well, let's try it and see. We got away with it. Great. So we'll do those. We'll do headlines now. Oh, we've got him. Those people out there, half the people don't believe us. They think we're out to get him. I mean, how dare they? You know, it's believe all women, isn't it? Believe all women. You know, he's convicted. Convicted felon. So now... You, we can work backwards from that. So anytime anyone mentions his name, just get straight in with convicted rapist. Hang on a minute. This ain't working. It's not working. It's, 
Popularity is going up. People think he's a bit of a hero for standing up against tyranny. Can you believe that? All right, OK. Let's try again. We'll get him again. So the this is oh this is brilliant, right? So we're going to look at all you know he's a he's, you know we've we've called him a cheat a liar a bankrupt this billionaire we call a bankrupt he's useless at business <laughs> he's useless at business and he's a bankrupt okay yeah okay he is yeah this billionaire terrible terrible his daddy gave him a few million at the start you know so. He can't, he doesn't know how to run a business. No, he's rubbish, rubbish, only in it for himself. Yeah, he doesn't actually want the job, he's only in it for himself. Right, so let's look at all, let's subpoena all his stuff. And if we're bound to find something, and who cares, it's going to time up for years, isn't it? He, he'll never get anything done. He'll never shut the border, letting in all those illegal migrants. We're going to vote for us. So no, he'll never get it done. He'll never be able to go... You know, he'll never be able to go back to... He'll never be able to go back and see North Korea and sort out world peace or Israel. He'll never be able to do it because we want to do it. it well, it's got to be under our name, OK? He can't help the economy because he's too busy. Too busy sorting. Too busy with us, yeah. So we've been through all this stuff. We can't find anything. I've got this brilliant invention, right? Yeah. So you know he took out a loan, yeah, for those buildings. Yes. You know that he paid the loan back. Yes. Right. This is what we're going to do. We're going to say that he overvalued his assets to get a cheaper deal. Because we, we can't be bothered going through all this stuff. Can't find anything. So we're just going to make up this crime. Okay. So I know it was years ago. Statue of limitations, all the rest of it. We're going to make up a crime. He overvalued his assets. He's a liar. Because of course he's a liar. He's a liar. We're not liars. He's a liar. He's a liar, because I said he's a liar. Yeah, so he's a liar. He overvalued his assets. and But he paid it back. We've spoke to them, and they were happy with the loan. You know, they they did their own appendant, independent auditing of that building. And they said, fine, we can lend you that money. Don't care. What? Don't care. You paid the money back. Don't care. He overvalued his assets. I've been down. We've looked at my Lago. It's worth 3p. He says it's worth 350 million. It's worth 3p. And so he's overvalued. He's got a cheaper loan. What a dirty cheat. Well, hang on. We've just had all these business people in New York say that this is that this is crazy. It's how business works. Tell them don't worry. It's a one-off. Trump is so such a baddie that this is a one-off case. Isn't that illegal to just put, isn't it just like, won't people think it's pursuing a political opponent? Well, we're the good guys. He's the Nazi. You know, we don't pursue political opponents. Nazis do that. He's a Nazi. We're not a Nazi. We don't create laws just to get an individual. We don't take the money off them. We don't, we don't do all that. No, they do that. We've said it. So, but we're going to lose business out of New York. No. See, we'll have a word with them in private and say, shut up, shut up. You know, if you give money to the Democrat campaign, shh, yeah, you'll be fine. You'll get an invite down to Hollywood, get your face in there with all the celebs. Yeah, you'll, you'll be there in the background, the Oscars. We'll, you'll, be, you'll be at all the right parties. We just need to get Trumpy, Okay. Right, OK, it's a one-off law for a one-off crime that never existed before and will never exist again. Job done. Um, oh, yeah, that... Oh, I forgot the E. Jean Carroll thing. It's gone out of time. We'll create a law, open it up for 12 months, get him, and shut the law down afterwards. Can we get away with that? Of course we can get away with that. Right. Okay, so the overvaluing of assets fraud. What we're going to charge him? Well, we're going to keep charging him every time that he says, every time he opens his mouth, say that he's being rude and attacking the other side. You mean like a, trying to defend himself? Yes. And we will slap him with charges every time he does. And uh, we've charged him $450 million. Do you, reckon, do you think that's enough? You know, for 
a non-crime crime. Do you think $450 million? Do you think that's enough? Yeah. Uh, oh, the election expenses case with the porn star shakedown. So he gets a call, or his lawyer gets a call from a lawyer. You're running for president. Yeah, well, we're going to say you slept with this porn star if you don't pay us off. <sighs> what should I do? Pay her off. Happy days. Hang on a minute. We're, we're looking for cases to get him. This porn star shakedown tried to get money off him. Yeah, but that's... Well, he was obviously trying to protect his name. Yes, yes, that's that's been done before. Well, that's election interference, isn't it? We're trying to dirty his name, and he's trying to he's trying to hide it. You know that he slept with a porn star. Well, he might not have slept with her. Shut up! Shut up! You know he's put this number in the wrong column. Get him. Job done. Yeah, election. He's interfered in elections. You know, those 51 secret ex-secret service agents, well, they, you know, they said you just had the hallmarks. Only the hallmarks? Yeah, that's not election interference. You know, trying to lock somebody up for overvaluing of assets, that's not election interference. No. 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 Yes. Right, okay, so, yeah, there's the whole insurrection thing. Lots of people have been into that. It's calling it an insurrection. Oh, you can do what you want, can't you? You can have show trials, the whole, the, 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 the whole shebang. So, you know, the, the fact that, you know, the, in, during the Antifa BLM riots, you know, they set fire to the church next to the White House. Trump had to have, you know, had to be removed to the basement. The police cleared the uh, church, cleared the writers out. Trump goes to see the damage, stands there with a Bible to try and show support. Look at that evil Trump pushing Christianity. He's only, he beat up, he had the police, he had his fascist police beat up those innocent protesters just innocently burning down that church he had them beat him up for that photo opportunity mr trump how dare you beat up those innocent protesters setting fire to that church just so that you can stand there with an evil christian bible for a photo op are you not ashamed of yourself so that, you know just but it's Definitely, you know, definitely, that was purely peaceful. Nothing to do, wasn't an insurrection. No, it was not. It was a photo opportunity by an evil fascist trying to push Christianity down people's throats. Absolutely disgraceful. Um, so, what is it? So we, we still haven't got him. People still, you know, we're calling him a convicted rapist we're calling him a convicted perjury we're calling him a convicted fraudster uh, we're calling him an insurrectionist and people are thinking that you know we're out to get him so what can what can we do well it's just it's only a minor thing but just have one of the boys try and remove his secret service protection say that anybody that we've that we've convicted you know, politically, I mean, uh, you know, innocently. And anybody, you know, will try. Will, he, you can't have Secret Service protection if you've got a conviction against your name. You can't. Just cannot do it. So, why, why are you doing that? Why, why are you doing? Why are you removing Secret Service protection from a president, ex-president? Why are we doing that? No reason. No reason at all. Right. Uh, so, ah, right, so, and then we come to the assassination attempt. So, we've called him a fascist. You know, sort of, it's been brewing, hasn't it? It's kind of been brewing. You know, the kind of, you know, we're not dog whistling at all. Not dog whistling at all that somebody needs to remove this person. Not at all. You know, we're shouting, calling fascists, saying it's the end of the world, end of democracy. But we're not dog whistling at all to anybody to do anything in of such naughtiness. Not at all. We're not removing, you know, the, it's not suspicious at all. 
that in the assassination attempt that CNN were there for the first time. It's just a coincidence. It's not suspicious at all that the, the roof where that the, you know, the poor deluded young person uh, climbed up on and, you know, just wandered across by himself. I, you know, I don't think people saw him, just wandered across. You know, it's not a coincidence that that was free and that the, that there was a counter sniper team there, uh, you know, conveniently to kill off the perpetrator who'd done it. I mean, to, you know, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, the first counter sniper team there. Um, you know, luckily, luckily they were there. Luckily they were there to, to wait until the bullets had been fired and then take him out. I mean, no, luckily they were there to do their best and to to take that person out okay so it's just all it's just yeah it's just terrible to see it any other way terrible to see it any other way yeah yeah it's, it was it was it was incompetence that it wasn't it wasn't complicity at all no it was incompetence by wonderful super people Wonderful super people who were brilliant at their jobs. Absolutely wonderful and brilliant at their jobs and should all keep them. Yeah, great. And so what about, and then, so what about the Twitter files? So Musk takes over Twitter, pays 40 billion, 44 billion, because he says he wants, he's fed up of it being biased against right-wing people and he wants it balanced even though he's a bit of a lefty himself he thinks that this isn't right and so he pays 44 billion uh, he tried to get out of it but they, they made him pay it even though he found that it wasn't worth what he said it what they said it was but no so hang on a second twitter is just full of all these activists and F ex fbi and cia staff who are keep you know keep in contact with the White House all the time and the White House say uh, who to get rid of and they're all from the right and so we do that but so this is all a bit inconvenient isn't it you know this is all a bit inconvenient I know what we'll do get George Soros on the line and we will get all the organizations that he is funding to write a letter so we're gonna get him to write a letter and you know we're going to get you know your blms and all these people all these left-wing organizations are going to sign it and we're going to send it to all you know coca-cola uh you know nike all these you know apple all these people who have been on this lovely unbiased platform we're going to send it send them around you know the threatening letter i mean no the you know the the helpful letter so we're going to send around a helpful letter to them saying that Mr. Musk is, an, is a naughty boy and he is letting misinformation and hate speech up on his platform, which is against the Democratic Party. I mean, which is against, well, we can't say freedom of speech, which is against, which is for misinformation and fascists. He's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. So Mr. Musk gets rid of 80% of the staff and gets rid of all the activists gets in engineers, makes it run better, but he's got no money coming in because of the boycotts of all these people. But that's a good thing because we need to get rid of, we need to get rid of anybody who supports any right-wing views because they are nasty fascists. We're not fascists. Fascists are the ones suppressing speech. I mean, no, let's get this right. You can't suppress speech, that's a bad thing. But misinformation... Yeah, misinformation, definitely. Misinformation. Only come get information from trusted sources that vote for Democrat. That only get information from trusted sources. I know they happen to vote Democrat, but that is a pure coincidence. Yes, it's a pure co coincidence. And if we change our mind from one week to the next, you can't get us because we've got the Democrat membership get a jail free card. Yeah, just saying. So if we change our mind, yeah, jab bad, jab good, yeah, open border, closed border. If we change our mind, that's fine because it's new information and we have that new, well, I 
can't even keep up. Um, the bloodbath hoax. So it's a bit of a recent one. So Trump's making a speech and he says if um, China are allowed to manufacture cars in Mexico and bring them in, then it'll be a bloodbath to American car makers and it'll be terrible. But it won't happen if I get in. Trump says it's going to be a bloodbath. If he gets elected, he's going to kill everybody in a bloodbath. That's what he said, definitely. So, along with the Charlottesville hoax, all the, you know, the Russia collusion hoax, that's the latest. Biden said it, I think, in one of his last speeches. Trump says it's going to be a bloodbath because he's a fascist. I mean, grow up. Right, so, where are we, where are we up to? I think we're up to 43. I think we're up to 43. Little list. So, uh, you know, uh, Elon has cleaned house at Twitter, got rid of all the uh, activists, 80% of the staff, and now it works better. Incredible. Uh, I think f Facebook's got a little bit less bias, a little bit less bias. Uh, but that, that Google's all in, isn't it? Absolutely all in. So if you search on uh, if you search on Google for the Trump assassination, then everything else everything else comes up but because we can't have him we can't have him looking good, can we? Uh, if you type in um you, you know Trump not they're not uh, what are they? Not conferences. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'll come to me. Yeah, you know, Trump, when all his, his, his voters uh, turn up to cheer him on and listen to him speak, you get <laughs> you get Kamala Harris ones instead. Ooh, yeah. Uh, you know, that Google, you know, mentioned the term bloodbath and overnight Google changes the definition of bloodbath just to try and get a bit at Trump. I mean, it's just, yeah, Ooh, no, bi no bias there. No, they can do what they want anyway, can't they? They can do what they want. <clears throat> uh, right, 44. So after the assassination attempt, you know, Biden, Obama, and even AOC said, it's wrong. Shouldn't be shooting. We, we, we need to speak more kindly to each other. We need to speak more kindly to each other. So, does that mean that they didn't think he was a Nazi all along? That it was just... It's all in the game. It's all in the game. It's a bit of name-calling amongst friends. You know, they call us names. We're the communists. They're the Nazis. You know, it's all, all fair in love and war. But, oh, now that the shooting started... No, we'll just be a bit kinder. So, do they mean they should be kinder? And in other words, they're not really Nazis. Or are they lying now? You know, are they lying now because, you know, they don't want to get done for inciting violence or they don't want anyone having a pop at them? Who knows? But now, let's speak kindly. So, is calling someone a Nazi kind? Can't quite figure that out. Uh, 45. Ooh, 45. That's an interesting number, isn't it? So, on the night of the election, so the election day, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Uh, Trump or Biden, you know, it's, it's a bit close. It's a bit close. You're a bit ahead, Mr. Trump. <clears throat> Good. I'm a bit ahead. Uh, but the uh, Democrat kind of leaning cities are shutting down the voting and we're all going home. You are? What's going on? Well, there's lots of these, you know, these postal votes. So we're going to we're going to close up shop. We're going to go home. We're going to get a bit of a night's sleep. I know this doesn't normally happen. You normally get to find out on the night. But COVID, COVID, postal votes. So, sorry, mate. We're, we're going home. Right, well, I'm ahead anyway. Yeah. Well, how many how many days later? Sorry, Mr. Trump. We found all these postal votes. There was, <clears throat> there was a lot more postal votes for Biden than there was for you. Terribly sorry. You lost. On your bike. Nothing to see here at all. Nothing. Not suspicious. No way, Jose. No. Can we check the signatures? No. No. Stop it. On your bike. Uh, 46. 
Um, oh, Joe Biden, if you don't vote for me, you're not black to a black man. Ooh, does he get a pass? Does he get a pass? He's a Democrat. Democrat. I'm a Democrat. Can't be racist, us. No chance. We're Democrats. Sounds a bit racist. No, can't do it. What if Trump said that? He didn't though, did he? No, you're right. How does this work again? I don't know. So, no. Yeah. Mm, a bit close to the wire, perhaps, that one. Uh, 47. 16 states tried to remove him from the ballot. You know, that those, those perfect legitimate cases, that's it. You're not on the ballot. No, no one can vote for you. You can't vote for it. No way. Uh, why? Because that's a democratic process. Okay, right. Okay. So, yeah. But on the on the ballot, apparently. Is that right or wrong? I don't know. Should he be removed? Should people be allowed to vote for him or not? It's a democratic process. Like, who knows? Yeah, because Democrats are democratic. So remove Trump's name from the ballot. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, this is this, but I think I think this is probably my favourite case, the documents case. This is just wonderful logic, right? Okay, so that Trump, he's got documents. He has, you know, he's got documents. Yeah, he has got documents. He's got some documents against the FBI. <laughs> Crossfire hurricane. We need to get them back. Shh, 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 shh. Not those documents. What documents? He's got nuclear secret documents. He's got stamps secret on. We need to go and get them off him. You know, nothing to do with Crossfire Hurricane. Nothing to do with all this stuff that he's got against us. Nothing at all. We need to go and get those secret, secret documents that he shouldn't have as president. He shouldn't have it. You know, he can't see those documents. I mean, he can't keep those documents. I mean, he can't. Right. He's got documents. Right. He's got documents. Right. Great. So go get him. Let's go get him. Got him. We <laughs> finally got him. Oh, he's slippery, Joe. Sorry. Slippery Don. Uh, but hang on a minute. Before we do, can we just, can you just check, see if Biden's got documents or Hillary or Obama? Can't ask Biden. He ain't got a clue what day it is. Well, ask his people. Come on. Keep up. Keep up with the programme. Right. OK. So we're going to get Trump because he's got these documents that he shouldn't have. Ooh. Yeah. So can you just check? Sorry, we found documents. Can we keep it quiet? Well, we found documents in his garage. We found documents here. Found documents there. Were they there? But they were secure, weren't they? We're well, kind of in a draw. <sighs> that Biden, he's gonna get up. Right. So, can we drop the documents case? Well, we, it's public now. We, yeah, everybody knows. Right. Well, can we get? Can we just? Can we just go and get Donald with the documents and leave Biden going and just say? Might be a few floating voters that might think that that's a bit dodgy, even though it's not. Right, okay, so what can we do? Right, okay, so. Right, well, we need we need to do the, we need to do Biden's first, get out of the way, don't we? Yeah, right, okay, so. Can, we're going to have to claim, we're going to have to say that Biden's guilty of documents. You what? Where are you going with this, son? Be careful. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. Okay, but you're on dodgy ground here. This is Biden we're talking about. Right, so we'll say he's guilty of documents. Wait for it. But he's a lovely, cuddly old man. A little bit forgetful. So it wouldn't be in anybody's interest to do anything about it. Well, we'll go with that. He's guilty of the documents, but he's a cuddly, lovely, cuddly old man. Lovely, cuddly old man. Everybody knows that. Never does any harm. Um, you know, on those documents. Yeah, no. It was, it was an honest mistake. We're, we're, whereas we're asking for Trump and he's saying, whoa, 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 whoa hold your horses. Biden went, oh, it's an honest, honest mistake. Go get him. No problem. Right, so it's an honest mistake. He was vice president, though. Shut up. Uh, it's an honest mistake. He's a cuddly old man. A little bit forgetful. Right, we'll go with that. Great. Oof. I feel sorry for those guys. We got you off the hook, Democrats. You've got to be pleased with us. Well, hang on a minute. Mm. 
No. What do you mean, no? How dare you say that Biden's forgetful? He's sharp as a tack. What a disgraceful thing to say about Biden. So should we prosecute him then? Ooh! Ooh, let me have it both ways. He was guilty, but it was... But... It, he did hand him back when he was asked, and but he's not forgetful. No difference at all. Right, go get Trump. He's got secret documents. He's got secret documents. We can go get him now. Get the guns out. Let's let's go. Let's get get CNN there. Get everybody there. Oh, look, we've got him. <laughs> let's go for him. Yeah, yeah, very. Yeah. What can you do? What can you do? Right, I think that was my favourite. Um. Uh, 49, 49, <laughs> oh, 49, so, right, Mr. Trump, yeah, oh, Mr. Trump's lawyer, yeah, okay, yeah, you know that porn star that you met, yeah, right, well, if you don't give us, you know, hundred and something thousand dollars, we're going to say that you slept with her, you what, you know, if you don't pay us off, we're going to say you slept with her, but I'm running for president. Pay, pay him off. Pay him off. Right, okay. Got him. Got him. He's trying to keep his name clear. He's trying to keep his good name. And he's paid her off. Well, that's election interference. That's election interference. It is. We got him. Bang to rights. He paid off a porn star. It's brilliant. Get all the gory details out about that porn star. Did he sleep with her? Who knows? Who cares? Put it in the wrong column. We've got him. It's election interference. It definitely is election interference. No doubt about it. Can't have him on that ballot. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, oh, yeah. Right. Okay. So, the... Like, Google, Facebook, Apple, were they using supposed hate speech laws to suppress right-leaning views and not the competitors? You know, while at the same time, the, you know, Nancy Pelosi, the top Democrats making a bit of money from insider trading in shares in those companies. It's not illegal. It's not illegal. It's corrupt. Shut up. Shush. It's corrupt. No, it can't be corrupt if it's not illegal. OK, fine. Yeah, just get rid of get get rid of all these people. Off, you know, off Twitter and Facebook and all this. Trump, get them off. Okay? Yeah, otherwise, we're going to crack down on... I mean, not related to that, but those, you've got people doing hate speech, so you need to get the hate speech off. You know, anybody who does, disagrees with us, that's hate speech. Get them off. Right, okay, yeah. So there won't be any crackdown on those stocks. Have the shares gone up? And we've just bought some. Total coincidence. Yeah, total coincidence. Yeah, because we're the good guys. We're the good guys. Uh, ooh, 51. Right. Okay, so Joe Biden. Joe Biden. He's absolutely sharp as a tack. What do you mean? He's, he can't walk upstairs, can't string a sentence together. He reads the autocue and reads the bits he's not supposed to read. You know, he just randomly shouts at... Sharp as a tack. How dare you? How dare... It's doctored footage. Absolutely doctored footage. How dare you? How dare you say that? It's a conspiracy. And anybody who says otherwise, a right-wing fascist... Yeah, I can't think of the names fast enough. Right. Overnight. It's a miracle. Have you seen Biden? You can't remember a thing. You can't, can't put two words together. Overnight, it has just happened that he's turned into the person that, pe that the, re the Republicans have been saying for the last two years. It's a miracle. He's just turned into that person overnight. It's, it's shocking. It, it's absolutely shocking. What are we going to do now? What about Kamala? She's brilliant. She's brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, she's a miracle. Weren't you saying that she's terrible and she, 
you know, that all her staff hate her and she's been rubbish over the border. Or... No, I never said that. Never said that. She's brilliant. She, oh, she's got to save the world. That Trump's an evil fascist racist. He's an evil fascist racist. Kamala, she's a woman. Yeah, she's a woman. Uh, you know, this Indian woman, sorry, this black woman, this Indian black woman, she's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if you don't vote for her, you're a racist. You're a racist if you don't vote for her. You really are. Okay? So you vote for her. Happy days. All the good things will come your way. You better go to those dinner parties and say, oh, Kamala, me. I ain't no racist, me. I voted for Kamala. Jobs are good. Uh, so, 52. So, so, big proportion, big proportion of the left. That Trump. Yeah. Yeah, that Trump. He needs to go. Yeah. It's, it's an existential threat. I, I, existential threat. You know, democracy is on the line. He's a fascist. He's a Nazi. Can you not see it? He's a fascist Nazi. Somebody needs to do something. I mean, you know, he can't... I mean, what? A, 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 a someone tries to assassinate him. That's a complete surprise. Why did? Why did somebody... Why would somebody think to do that? Why would someone think to do What do you mean, why would someone think to do that? It's a good thing. It should have been, it should have been assassinated. Well, well, it should, shouldn't he? Don't we all agree? Yeah, should he? Should he? Shouldn't he? It should, it should, it shouldn't. Yeah, no, nothing to see here. No. Yeah, so I, it was fake. Hang on, no, it was fake. No, it's fake. Did it to himself. You know, he just kind of bit of glass, cut his ear. It's fake. You, well, it's, you can tell it's fake. It, Trump. It's Trump. It's definitely fake. Definitely fake. Fake. Absolutely fake. No, it, a hero. How dare you? No. No, no, no. It's fake. It's fake. Someone should have done it. Someone shouldn't. It's, this need to be better next time. With the... Ooh, oh, I can't, ooh. Ooh. Just so mad. It makes me so mad. Right. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. What's this? Didn't the Democrats try and remove his Secret Service protection? Well, you know, there's criminal charges. Right, okay. So criminal charges, which you did, yeah. But why remove his Secret Service protection? What are you trying to do? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just save a bit of money. Remove his Secret Service protection? Nothing. What? No. No, well, yeah, but no, no, purely coincidental, purely coincidental. We're being kind of, we're being nice. We're saving the taxpayer some money. We definitely are. Yeah, well, it's a bit strange that, yeah. Okay, so this Supreme Court, we keep nearly getting Trump and they interfere. It's just not right. There's some Republicans on there. It's an utter disgrace. Well, we'll just, you know, it's... We missed our turn on the votes. We missed our turn. It's just not right. So what we're going to do in a purely democratic process is we're going to we're going to get a few more to go onto the Supreme Court to make them more democratic, and you know, and purely coincidentally, just go along with what they t we tell them. I mean, that they think for themselves. Pure, yeah. So we need more. They're very busy. They're busy. Oh, they're busy. They're so busy, they need more of them. Need more of them. Yeah, they're really busy. You know, COVID. We need to get more on. Yeah. Just purely coincident. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, ooh, yeah. So, uh, where am I up to? So, that's... So, 55. So, when we, when we get into power, yet yeah, we're so brilliant at this climate change, we're going to shut down pipeline from Canada into America. We're going to shut it down. Right, well, where are we going to get the oil from? Did no one think of that? Where, where's all this wind power? Well, it's not quite there. Right. Just, we got loads of reserves. Use that. Right. We're all right. Reserves are running out. Get Saudi Arabia on the phone. Get Russia on the phone. Get Venezuela on the phone. You just send us a bit more oil. Can you keep the price down? What do you mean you won't keep the price down? This is disgusting, this. What about what about fracking? No, 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 no. We told the voters. 
Okay, so we're burning the same oil, but we're getting it from abroad and now we're paying for Right. Yeah, but it don't count. Climate change. Climate change. Right, what? Just on that climate change, yeah. 50, 50, 56. You know, when Trump visited the, uh, you know, the Europeans, the Germans, and said, You're, this Nord Stream pipeline you're getting gas from Russia, it's a really bad idea. Russia might invade in Europe. <laughs> what an idiot. What an idiot Trump is. What an absolute... Russia's not going to invade in Europe. What an absolute buffoon that guy is. He's got no idea of international relations. Absolutely none. What a fool. Russia invading Europe. Yeah, well, it's all it's all global globalisation. So, yeah, so Germany, yeah, we build, you know, our manufacturing. Yeah, oil and, you know, gas. We get cheap gas from Russia. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? I think you should shut it down. You shouldn't be getting them from Russia. Don't be silly. Oh, hang on. Russia's gone and invaded Europe. Was Trump right then? We, no one needs to mention that. So this Nord Stream, this Nord Stream pipeline, you know, we really, you know, you really need to get around to shutting it because there's a war going on in Ukraine and Germany. You know, you're sending them billions. You're sending them billions and they're buying weapons. So it's all a bit silly, isn't it? We're trying to, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to do economic sanctions against naughty Russia and you're paying them billions. We need the gas, don't we? We've got, we've got Mercedes cars to build. We want you to shut it down. We can't do it. We can't shut it down. Right. Well, in a totally, in a totally separate and mysterious accident, some, some Russians got, you know, they, they just swam down, you know, with a, you know, with a little, uh, with a little biro and poked a little tiny hole in the Nord Stream pipeline. They, they totally did it themselves, you know, you know, blew up the Nord Stream pipeline, setting off one of the biggest environmental releases of gas into the atmosphere ever, totally going against all climate change. But it was absolutely nothing to do with the Democrats in power. Nothing. The Russians blew up their own pipeline. In fact, we don't even need to mention it. We don't need to mention it at all. So if you just get a word, get onto the press, you know, our friendly boys over there, have a little word. Don't need to mention that pipeline going up and an environmental catastrophe at all. The Russians did it and it'd be silly to mention it. Okay. Right, so I, th I think am I getting am I getting to the end of it? So I, I think there's so there's my there's my little list. Right, okay, so that's a little bit of a list. So I you know I, I apologise that I've missed out loads and you know didn't go into a lot of detail on loads, but it's it is tough to keep up with it at all. But I'd really appreciate uh, an opposite list or any kind of. No, please don't just say, you know, Democrats are brilliant and the Republicans are fascist. Um, you know, say it if you like, you know, say it. No, say, say it if you like. It's a free world. Uh, but, you know, there's there's plenty there, isn't there? So, but it's, I think it would be psychologically better to say that the Democrats are a bit of a cabal that they use every dirty trick in the book to get through their policies, which you agree with. I think that's far healthier. You know, just to, you know, I think it's healthier than, right, well, so Trump's a liar. You know, Trump's a racist. Why is he a racist? Well, he said in Charlottesville this. Right, well, let me show you this clip. Uh, well, that, that one might... That, that one was an honest mistake. It's easy to see why it was an honest mistake, but he is still a racist. If you kind of, you know, you plead, well, no, I was going to say please. Seriously, if your side tells a lie, then you got to think I've been told a lie and that is evidence of a lie. Liars lie, okay? I think it's far healthier to say I support the policies. Both sides have got issues, but I like them because of this, this and this. But if you're in it thinking we're the good guys, they're the bad guys, and that's going to be psychologically very, very difficult for you to keep that up. I see a lot of people struggling out there 
Oh my God, Trump's going to get in. It's going to be the end of the world. Oh, or vice versa. But if someone could come up with a list of, you know, what those fascists are up to on the other side, it will be very much appreciated. Thank you.